This is the RFID diagnostic card. What it does is it shows you what frequency a reader that you put it up to is operating at and the duty cycle, which just means how often it's checking for tags in the field or in the vicinity. It's designed like a credit card and it's put onto this uh, very flexible PCB substrate. So it's kind of, um, for all intents and purposes, it works like a credit card in your wallet. So here we have a wallet and you can see that it's designed to fit uh, with the passive components, the, the LEDs that light up, to be able to be visible while still in the wallet. And I'll show how that works here. So we'll have a KBR1 reader and just by opening the wallet and putting it over, you can see, oh, okay, it's a high frequency reader. You don't really have to take the card out of the wallet. You can just do it right in the wallet like that. But let's take a look at using the RFID diagnostic card with various readers of different types to show you how it works. This reader is something you might find at an access control site. We can clearly see that it operates at 125 kilohertz or low frequency. What about this reader? Let's check it out. When we place a diagnostic card on, we can see that both the LF and HF are blinking. That means this reader is a multi-frequency or dual frequency reader. So that's a quick overview of the RFID diagnostic card. The important thing to know about the card is that while it can show you the frequency and duty cycle of a reader that you present it to, what it cannot do is show you the best orientation or location on that reader to present a chip implant. For that, you will need something like the X field detector keychain, something like this. Inside the keychain is a device that mimics the coil geometry that is found inside X series implantable chips. And because that can mimic the actual coil, we can determine that by placing in certain specific areas of the reader, you're going to have a good chance of getting good coupling with your implantable chip. To find out more about this device, check the links below. There'll be a video just about this specifically.